Welcome back to Infigyan friends. In today's video, we are having one very interesting and challenging question from radical rational equations. The given equation is x over root 10 minus x plus 10 minus x over root x equal to 28 over 3. x belongs to real number. So let's get started by writing our denominators cannot be 0, 0 and 10 cannot be allowed as solution. Now I will use substitution. Let us consider a square root x is equal to a. For solution to be real, a should be positive. A square root 10 minus x equal to b. b should also be positive. So a is positive, b is positive. So product of a and b, it should be positive. Summation of a and b, it should also be positive. Now from first equation, I can write x will be equal to a square. From second equation, 10 minus x equal to b square. Add these two equations. So I will write x plus 10 minus x equal to a square plus b square. So plus x minus x will be over. So we have a square plus b square equal to 10. Let me call equation number 1. Now I will consider our original equation. x is equal to a square. So numerator it will be a square over root 10 minus x. It is b. So over b plus 10 minus x. It is b square. Root x it is a. So b square over a equal to 28 over 3. Let's take LCM. See the denominator is a. Now let's take LCM. I will be writing here a cube plus b cube divided by ab equal to 28 over 3. Or I can write a cube plus b cube value this will be equal to 28 over 3 ab. This equation I will call equation number 2. Let's solve these two equations for the value of a. Let me write here a square plus b square equal to 10. a cube plus b cube equal to 28 over 3 times ab. Now I will consider the squaring and cubing. So let's consider cubing here a square plus b square whole cube. Right hand side will be 10 cube. Here we will take up a cube plus b cube whole square. Right hand side 28ab over 3 whole square. So a plus b whole cube, a square whole cube, a power 6, b square whole cube, b power 6 plus 3a square b square in bracket a square plus b square which is 10. So times 10 equal to 1000. I can write a power 6 plus b power 6 plus 30a square b square equal to 1000. Or a power 6 plus b power 6. This will be equal to 1000 minus 30 a square b square. Now let us consider the second equation. Whole square. So a power 6 plus b power 6 plus 2 times a cube b cube equal to 28 whole square 784 a square b square and denominator will be 9. So from here I can write a power 6 plus b power 6. This will be equal to 784 a square b square by 9 minus 2 a cube b cube. Now left hand side it is a power 6 plus b power 6. For both the equations. So I will equate RHS of both the sides. 
both the equations. So let me write here. 1000 minus 30 a square b square equal to 784 divided by 9 a square b square minus 2 a cube b cube. Now let's consider a b equal to t. So I will be writing here 1000 minus 30 t square equal to 784 by 9 t square minus 2 t cube. Now we will take up all the term to one side. So let me write here. This will become 784 divided by 9 t square. Then I will write minus 2 t cube equal to 1000 minus 30 t square. Once I will simplify this equation, simply only rearranging the terms, we will have our final equation as 9 t cube minus 527 t square plus 4500 equal to 0. Now this is one cubic equation. I will use method of synthetic division to solve this problem. So let us consider rational root theorem first to find out base solution. So if I will write base solution, then I will write the coefficients, the factors of constant term plus minus 1, plus minus 2, plus minus 3, plus minus 5 and so on. These factors I can write plus minus 1, plus minus 3, plus minus 9. Now take ratio of constant to leading coefficient and if I will plug in t equal to 3 to our equation. So 9 times 3 cube minus 527 times 3 square plus 4500. Is this making our RHS 0? 9 times 27 minus 527 times 9 plus 4500. So this is 243. This is minus 4743. And this is 4500. So if I will add, then 4 7, 4, 3. Yes, it is making our equation 0. That means t equal to 3 is our base solution. Let us use synthetic division method. So I need to write all the coefficients of cubic equation. So I will write 9 minus 527 0 4, 5, double, 0. One line over there. Leading coefficient 9 as it is. So 9. 9 times 3, 27 minus 500. Minus 1500. So minus 1500. And this I will write minus 4500. So 0. So these are coefficients for quadratic equation. So I can write 90 square minus 500 t minus 1500 equal to 0. Let us write. 9t square minus 500t minus 1500 equal to 0. So we have to solve this quadratic equation for t positive only. Let me write here t equal to minus b. So 500 plus minus under the root b square. So 2, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4 minus 4ac. So this value will become plus 54,000 divided by 2a, so 18. So 500 plus minus. This value will be 304400 divided by 18. If I will calculate approximate value of this, then it is 500 plus minus 551.36 divided by 18 with plus sign it will be 
1051.36 over 18 and with minus sign it will be minus 51.36 over 18. We will reject this value as it is negative. Rejected. So T is equal to this will be accepted as it is positive and approximate value it is 58.4. So our final conclusion we have got only two T values. 3 is our base solution and 58.4 is our second positive T value. Let us simplify or let us solve for the value of X. So I will write here 3 and 58.4. Now I will write our equation number 1. It was a square plus b square equal to 10. So I can write LHS as a plus b whole square minus 2ab equal to 10. So I can write a plus b whole square. This will be equal to 10 plus 2ab. Consider a square root both sides. So a plus b will be equal to plus minus a square root 10 plus 2ab. And a plus b, it should be always positive for real solution. So we will accept only a plus b equal to square root 10 plus 2ab. Let's calculate a plus b. How it will be? Because of this is ab. So I will use this to find out a plus b. Let me write here a plus b equal to a square root 10 plus 2 times 3. And for 58.4, square root 10 plus 2 times 58.4. So for first value, I will be writing a square root 10 plus 6, 16. And for second value, if I will write, then this value will be equal to 10 plus 116.8, which is 126.8. So this is 4 and this value will be 11.26. Now this is A plus B and you can see it is AB. So let me frame two system basically. A plus B equal to 4, AB equal to 3. And second system, A plus B equal to 11.26 and AB equal to 58.4. Let us solve both the system one by one. So I will be writing here A plus B equal to 4, AB equal to 3. And second system I will be writing A plus B equal to let me write here AB is equal to it was 58.4 and this value was 11.26. Let's solve. So consider one quadratic equation whose roots are A and B. So sum of roots product of roots. So I will be writing here A square minus sum of roots. So 4A plus product of roots. So 3 equal to 0. Here I will be writing a square minus 11.26a plus product of roots 58.4 equal to 0. So here I can apply quadratic formula minus b. So 4 plus minus square root b square minus 4 square 16 minus 4ac minus 12 over 2a so 2. So 4 plus minus square root 4 it will be 2 over 2. With plus sign it will be 6 over 2. With minus sign it will be 2 over 2. So we will have a equal to 3 and 1.
now i will consider our second equation this is quadratic in a let me calculate discriminant only so if i will write minus 11.26 whole square which is b square minus 4 times 1 times 58.4 so it is 126.79 and this value is minus 233.6 you can see as this is negative so we will reject this as complex solutions will be there so we will reject now our substitution was root x is equal to a let me write here a is equal to 3 comma 1 our substitution was root x is equal to a or x is equal to a square so i will consider squaring of this so it will give us 3 square and 1 square so a square is now x this is 9 and this is 1. So we have two solutions 9 and 1. Let us cross examine also. So if I will write here check x equal to 9. C equation is here. So I will consider LHS x over. So I will write 9 over the square root 10 minus 9 plus 10 minus 9 over square root 9. Okay, so this will give us 9 over root 1 plus 1 over root 9. 9 plus 1 over 3. So I can write 27 over 3 plus 1 over 3, which is equal to 28 over 3, which is our RHS. That means x is equal to 9 is true and verified solution. Let's consider the second solution x equal to 1. So I will be writing this time 1 over square root 10 minus 1 plus 10 minus 1 over square root 1. It will be equal to 1 over square root 9 plus 9 over square root 1 is 1. 1 over 3 plus 9 same way we will write 28 by 3 which is our RHS hence both solutions are verified and it is the end of this video friends do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video good luck take care of yourself bye bye